Hey dancers, welcome back. I got a question asking about balance, particularly balancing on one leg in point shoes. I am not the best balancer myself, so I'm actually kind of glad somebody requested this because it makes me have to think and focus and concentrate on what goes into a good balance, stuff that I need to work on. Um, so, my first piece of advice for balancing is do not think of your body as separate parts and separate limbs and separate joints. Um, I think the, the most helpful thing for when I'm balancing is that I imagine my body is one line, particularly it's just a spine. When I, um, back up a little bit, when I do a balance, I'm kind of imagining that my spine is going into the floor, like my spine is going through my legs. So I try not to think of myself as spine, hip, leg. I try to imagine that my foot is right under the middle of my body and that it's just one spine. It's just one long line going into the floor. The placement of your arms are also very, very important. Um, I actually take class um, with wrist weights. Um, and if you're up for the challenge, I actually um, suggest you go buy wrist weights. They don't have to be super heavy. It can be a half pound or a pound. I think these are a pound each. Um, because adding weight to your arms forces you to find the right position. It's almost impossible to be in the wrong position. So right away, I feel where my arms are supposed to be and it helps me feel my back because if your arms are too far forward or too far back, your balance isn't gonna happen. Being very conscious of my arms and my back helps me balance. So if I'm doing a balance with my arms in third position, the weights tell me like right there, this is vertical, this is how I find the connection. This is how I feel everything as one line, as my spine. Another thing that I found very, very helpful and something that I ignored for a long time was the stability of my knee. Um, when you do a balance, you have to lock and squeeze everything. You have to feel sticky. There's no wiggle room, there's no wobble room. So if you're holding a balance and you don't feel like your knee is straight or pulled up all the way, guess what, that's a wobbly joint. The same thing in your hips. If you are sitting back or sitting too far forward or to the side, that is going to add more instability. So the more places you take out the possibility of wobbling, the better your balance will be. If this is in place, your knee is in place. That already takes out the possibility of wobbling. If you keep this still, no possibility of wobbling. The, the more together and tight and sticky and stiff that you are, the better your balance. You want to feel that same feeling in your ankle, but your ankle is such a small joint and it's holding so much. Um, most, even like some of the best professionals, their ankle will still wobble a little bit. So you have to kind of ignore your ankle. So it's true that your ankle and your foot may wobble a little bit underneath you, but that's it. You can't let anything else wobble. Now starting your balance holding on to the bar and letting go is kind of easy because you just had something to hold on to and let go. How do you apply this same feeling to the center? Well, same thing. Imagine that your, the foot that you're about to balance on is just your spine going into the floor. And everything is just stiff, solid, eliminate all of the places that you could wobble or wiggle and just find it. And again, your arms are very important. I notice that the lower my arms are, if I'm in first position across from my belly button, this feels stable. It makes your um, center of gravity lower. Um, so the lower you are to the floor, the easier it will be to balance. So if you're like up here in the middle, it's also going to do this stuff to your back and you don't want it to do. So your arms have to be in a place where your back can be flat and you just feel like your gravity is all collected in one spot. I personally think a plie releve 
finding my balance is a little easier than doing a PK. This is because I'm a taller girl, I have longer legs, I have to shift my weight over a greater distance than maybe somebody who is shorter or smaller. Some people just like doing a PK balance. Um, when I was younger and smaller, I was able to do a PK and hold the balance very well, but not anymore. But the same rules apply. Don't open, don't flail your arms out, don't open your hips out. It's the same thing. It's the same. You want to get there and lock it. Lock everything. Lift up your knee, tighten your hips, tighten your butt. Don't let your arms fly up too high. Control, focus, feel your back. You also have to make sure that you are proficient in your point shoes, that you're strong in your point shoes, that you're comfortable in your point shoes, that your foot has both the flexibility and the strength to bear all of your weight in your point shoe. Um, if you are just starting out on point and you still struggle going through the shoe and holding your balance once you're there, um, a prolonged balance on one leg is still not going to come very easily to you. Um, don't worry, that just means you need to keep practicing, keep getting stronger. Even though most of the time when we dance, all of our weight is on the first two toes, if you're somebody with um, like broad flat toes instead of taper toes, you might feel like um, you're balancing on all your toes. Your shoe might have a wider platform. Um, I have narrow feet, I have, I have tapered toes, so my platform kind of goes up a little narrower at the end. Some people might find that harder to balance on. It depends on your foot type, your toe length, and your shoes. So um, if you're still kind of new to point and you're trying all these things and like nothing is helping and you just can't balance, it might not hurt to take another look at what kind of shoe you're wearing or maybe get fitted so somebody can see the, the length of your toes and maybe get a different shaped uh, platform on your box, on your point shoe that might help a little bit. So a little recap, make sure your shoes fit your foot, make sure your foot is strong and flexible enough to go all the way up in point. You're not sickling, you're not knuckling. Immediately feel like one line. Get rid of the idea that you have separate parts of your body that you have to contend with. Just get your foot under the middle of your body and imagine that your spine is going into your foot. When you're working with your arms, make sure your arms are in a place where you can feel your back being flat. Um, my suggestion, this works for me, is keeping my arms a little lower. The lower your center of gravity is, the easier it is to balance. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I would say try playing with wrist weights. My balance and my turns improved once I started taking class with wrist weights because it, it forces you to hit the right position. You know, if you go out of the position, the weight exaggerates the mistake. So right away you can fix it and feel where it's supposed to be. Keep practicing, keep getting stronger. Good luck.